Nothing on the providence side No longer bound to things of wood and stone When all I had to offer was my worst You saw my heavy heart and loved me first Beauty staring down Chose to throw your heart into the mess Compassion crashing down upon my bed You were there Oh, this time Like a river running through my face
Jesus on this rock, I'll sing your praise. Joel and Maddie, good to see you guys. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for sharing these songs with us. And uh, this song, Splinters and Stones, man, what a unique yeah. title. And we were just talking about this song, and I want you to talk about the inspiration behind it. It's such a powerful story. Um, and when you shared it with me, obviously the title all of a sudden is like, bing, okay, I actually get this now. So talk about the inspiration behind this song and, and the ideas. Um, yeah, well, I mean, the inspiration kind of came... Uh, out of, I mean, out of John chapter 8, there's a story of Jesus and the woman caught in adultery. And, um, and the Pharisees, the religious people, are trying to trap Jesus. And they're like, hey, like, what are we meant to do with this woman? And the law says we're going to stone her. And, uh, and you know, I think we know the story well, but Jesus, he um, kneels in the dirt and he draws in the dirt with his finger. And then he says, you know, whoever's without sin, throw the first stone. And of course, everybody was stumped. And the Bible says that they all dropped their stones and it, one by one, every single accuser walked away. And then, at, you know, at the end, I, I mean, I'll read it because I, I love it. It just says, um, it says in verse 10, Jesus straightened up and asked her, the woman, um, where, are you, where, are your, where are your accusers? Where are they? Has no one condemned you? She says, no one, sir. Then neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, go now and leave your life of sin. And, and um, I mean, I just love the story. And here's the thing. I mean, I believe that that song, that story is, um, it really happened. There was a woman caught in adultery, but as the church, that's us, you know? Yeah. He's talking about the church. And um, and doesn't matter how righteous we think we are. doesn't matter how great our deeds are. The bottom line is every single one of us um, deserve to kind of be um, crushed underneath the weight of our sin and, and the, the parallel and paradox in the whole thing is that, you know, Jesus um, was the rock. Um, he was the, you know, the solid rock um, and he threw himself, because he's the only one who was out without sin, he threw himself on the cross for us. So when we deserve to be crushed with stones, um, he knew that only he was the one who had the right to throw himself into the ring and he did he threw himself in the form of compassion and so that was kind of the picture of like I just had this picture of Jesus and I was like freaking out because I'm like man like Jesus threw himself in because he's the only one who could he did that on behalf of us and he threw himself like a rock against the cross and that was a lyric in the song at one point but it didn't fit but the, st the song is just the story you know um, and there's a lot of metaphor in there along those lines but um, just the, the concept of like you know the cross uh, is a symbol of shame and the stone uh, represents our punishment, uh, the law, the heavy weight of the law. And Jesus kind of superseded both. And it's this story of like what Jesus has done for us is still good now. Like he's carried us all this time. He's carried us through our shame and he's going to continue to carry us. And, and again, um, you know, the paradox of it is we carry him. So he carries us in his flesh, but we carry him as well in our flesh, his spirit. Um, and so that's kind of like the, I, I guess it's a chorus, it's kind of like a pre-chorus, but you know, all this time, uh, like, a, like a river running through my failure, uh, you've carried me all this time, uh, like, this, like splinters buried in your shoulders. And I, I just love that picture of like, you know, us being the splinters that are still ingrained in his skin um, and him still carrying us now. And, and then it kind of goes on and says, um, you've carried, You've carried me all this way, uh, like a diamond in the scars upon your crown. You carry me now, and so um, it's it's a song that I think it kind of just builds on itself. And yeah. and we we did it at Easter time in our church. It was the first song we did in church, and um, and people uh, just kind of reading the lyrics because they didn't know the song were just freaking out um, just at some of the the journey because when it says you know. Um, he kneeled and wrote forgiveness in the dirt, and one by one the stones fell where they lay. And then when it was like, and one by one, uh, our, my accusers walked away, and everyone was just like, it was really faith building. And um, so my prayer is that like it's it's kind of a song that um, people see themselves in the story, and I think that's really important for us, as, even as worship leaders. Sometimes we can just sing songs and sing the words. We know what works. We know what's going to get people to kind of whatever. But there's something about a story that when people see themselves in it. Um, it can it kind of 
bring people into a different space of worship. So I feel like this is like it would be a great song to do kind of, you know, third in a worse worship set. And then you go into a song like, you know, How Great Is Our God or something that's really triumphant. People yeah. are like, I know why now. I remember why. Because um, I was the woman caught in adultery and Jesus threw himself in rather than. Wow. Yeah. And we, and we do see ourselves in the story. Then it gets to that chorus and there's that response, that mm-hmm. hallelujah, um, yeah. recognizing oh man, you know, that was me, you mm. know, like he stepped in for me. And yeah. it's like this corporate response to that is really yeah. powerful. That's no, good. Yeah, I like, I mean, again, the last chorus is it's cool because sometimes you, when you write stuff, you don't, like I don't feel like I meant this bit, but like um, forever now uh, in the greatness of my Savior, forever now in, wow. so it's this concept of being ingrained in who he is, forever now in the brightness um, of his name, uh, Jesus on this rock, I'll sing you praise and just again it's that picture of Jesus as the rock the only time every other time it's stones and stone was rolled away but Jesus was the rock yeah. Yeah, so I, I like little stuff like that I think it's cool wow that's amazing well walk us through chord wise what you're playing yeah yeah. hold my bible in. thank you man <laughs> um, so we do it in D uh, on the record just now we did it in A um, the song kind of sits in the same kind of um, range so you, you literally could kind of do it in any any key you like I imagine for worship um, in a corporate service like doing it in A would be nice or B we did it in B um, excuse me in B because uh, it means um, everybody can sing that melody the boy is really strong so if you want it to kind of be more anthemic yeah. um, at the end I think that'd be a nice key but um, so I'll do it in B right now because that's what we just did it in excuse me like I said it's one of those songs we've done in every key imaginable <laughs> So um, it's real simple, it's just like B, uh, so one, six. Four, one, it kind of passes on a five. So it does that, that's the verse. And then the pre-chorus is um, Oh, this time Six, four One Five So that's, um, does that And then um, the second verse is an interesting little bit Because like I said, that it kind of builds on itself And so um, it just skips the passing chord and it skips a bar and just dives in. It makes a lot of sense when you sing the lyrics, but um, so. Um, one by one, the storms fell where they lay. And one by one, my accusers walked away. So it goes straight to the six there. Four. Anyway, then it goes on one five, and then um, the chorus kind of drop out, and it's just uh, one. Hallelujah! If ever now my heart cries, Hallelujah. Five. I just kind of keep it open there. If ever now in the wonder of your grace, for a thousand times, a thousand years, my soul will say one five. Yeah. Really simple. Um, that's pretty much the whole song. Yeah, man, really beautiful. Well done. Mm-hmm. Guys, thanks so much for coming by and sharing it with us. <laughs> thanks.